Uh, if you may, just give us a quick summary of the night from your perspective. Good evening, guys. Uh, I think uh, the beginning of the game was uh, it was really under control for 20, 25 minutes. An absolute domination of the of the scene, uh, but without shooting, without uh, shots on target, on the possession, close to the goal, that's the truth. We were really threatening the key spaces in the box, but uh, but not really finding the, the clear opportunities to, to capitalize, but really well organized. And uh, I think Polis and Clocky, they kept us all the time in their half. Uh, Excellent anticipation. So it, it was really complete the beginning of the game for us. We concede a goal in a in a throwing in a, in a situation that just just cannot happen, but it happens. And then from there we were a little bit a little bit too excited or nervous uh, looking for the goal. Even in the second half we we try to to organize the team in a different structure with uh, Mahopa with, um, and with Chejo up front, uh, open the field a little bit more with Catlejo in the last line. We were there, we were close. I think we have two or three very, very clear chances at least to, to equalize, but today was not the day. Uh, it's a bad result, not a bad performance from my point of view. I'm, I'm really proud of the boys tonight. After uh, five games in 14 days, I think uh, we, we really developed a good performance, but again, not a good result. The result is not what we were looking for, but we have to learn. Uh, I think we did a, the, the guys did a very good job in the last five games. Uh, in the last seven, actually, if we think about results. And now it's, ta it's time to build another uh, another uh, good, good uh, how do you call it? like. Uh, Again, accumulate good results from now until the end of the season. The situation remains the same with one game less, obviously, but we're not going to get affected by, by this result for sure. Thank you. Was, well, was there pressure to win this game, more so with uh, distractions that probably might, might have come up into saying that Soros defeated uh, Stellenbosch, probably also it's an opportunity for Paris to win the game, to go second. Was there pressure to win this game, coach? No, not really. I don't think so. I think if, if you see the way we start the game, I think we were, we were there, we were on, we were on task. But today we didn't find early the, the net, like in the recent games, and that complicates a little bit more. It's true that maybe we look a little bit uh, in a rush uh, in the last meters in, in, many, in many situations, but no, we know, like, we know, because we know that we have to win every remaining game uh, before this one and from now. We are used to deal with that in the place where we are. So this is not a new scenario for us where we have to win every single game. Today was a good opportunity, obviously, because we had the chance to to get the fully con full control of the situation, uh, but we couldn't. And uh, but still, we have uh, two more games to go in the league. And I think, like I said one week ago, I think it's going to be decided in the in the last game of the season. Do you have any questions from the coach? Otherwise, we will pass. <coughs> coach, um, how do you respond to this game, for example? What do you tell your players that had a game so full control, also coming off the back of such confidence? I mean, well, I was watching that first half an hour. <coughs> already thinking this is a team that's won, you know, seven games in a row and it's showing. So, I don't 
tell me they did much wrong besides the throwing where they conceded. So what do you say to pick the players up to go towards the next few games? As usually, we will do a collective analysis of, of the performance. And uh, I'm sure that I'll, if, if I have this feeling in life, in a game that I lost just a few minutes ago, that my team was playing as good as we could today, at least in the first half. It's true that the second half we were a little bit more, not disorganized, but we tried something different and, and we didn't get what we were looking for. Uh, so it's going to be easy to show them that they were doing what we were looking for with, with things that obviously we need to improve. There was a, a situation in our right, right hand side that didn't work the way we expected today. There's little things that that could help us uh, a little bit more to get the result. But like I said, we have the opportunity to do an objective analysis of the game and show to the players that we still we still performing the same way than, than in the previous seven games where we got the result. The only difference today is that we didn't score, we didn't manage to, to put the ball in the net like in the previous games, but everything else, the, the concentration, the, the pace, the, the desire, the, the level of aggression when we had everything, I think, was there. So, like I, like I, that's why I said before that, in my opinion, is is a defeat that is not going to affect us at all. There's not going to be space for, you know, to feel so sorry about ourselves because we understand the dynamics of the games, and well, sometimes you have these type of games. But if we have to lose, let's let's do it in this way. Um, coach, hard luck on the result. Um, I mean, I'm looking at Solos beating uh, Stellenbosch. I think Stellenbosch's first loss since last year in the league, and and also your yourselves only a second loss in 2024. Um, I, I, I guess this is the story of the second round, and especially these last few matches that um, no one is safe. Everyone is playing for something, and and I'm sure that's the mentality we are taking to. Um, TS Galaxy and also Super Sport were also fighting for the top eight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think our, our opponent tonight, they, they played a good game. They they with intensity, they were focused the whole game, uh, threatening us in transitions. They, they did a good job. Uh, it's not only us on the field. We cannot say, you know, and you can see the way they, they celebrate the three points because it means that they are avoiding the, the relegation, which is, you know, it's not a minor thing. So, like you said, everybody's playing for something. Some of the targets are bigger than the others, but everybody has some things to say from now until the end of the season. And the points in the last part of the season usually are very, very expensive. And today was approved. Swallows, us, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's complicated, but. We know it, and same way that it's complicated for us, it's going to be complicated for our opponents as well to deal with with us in the last few games. Have luck on the result, coach. Um, I'm just looking at how your players performed tonight. Um, physically, on duels, they went in hard and. Uh, they won every second ball, especially within the first 20 minutes that you spoke about. Usually when players are heading for probably a final ahead, they lose the strength of probably going hard into um, duels and winning balls and stuff like that, and they start losing matches. But in this case, we saw your players giving it their all still. Is it something that you worked on mentally on the players that irrespective of the final coming, they still have to give their all because they didn't show um, that performance, that Lex Lester performance, that says they've got something bigger to play for. We played a final. We lost one final now. That's why. <laughs> and we have another final on Saturday in Bombella. And then we have another final here with Super Sport. And, and that's why we play for something really, really important for our club. So we have to give our all. 
playing good or not, but we have to give our all. And uh, that's what they did tonight. So we are, in, we are in peace with ourselves in that sense. A uh, lot of things to improve, but the attitude, the desire to get the three points tonight was there. And that's the important thing. And now we go into another final and we're going to do the same and the proposal is going to be the same and, and we know that we are playing for a for something big. We want to be in Champions League the next season. Right now Stellenbosch is in that place and we want to get there. And we know that to do it we have to run an extra mile, all of us. The technical team, the players, everybody in the team, everybody involved. And that's the only way to make it possible. So that's why. Another question from the papers uh, on that note. We will reach the conclusion of our press conference. Thank you, Thank you guys. Good evening.